Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Just want to start on the daily time frame just to highlight the different possibilities here um, that we are tracking. So on the daily time frame, or this is actually the four day, but we can zoom out nicely. You see the entire price action since 2017. You see that XRP hasn't been trending. It has just been moving sideways. And um, the whole drama around um, the court case might have impacted it a bit, but I can tell you there are other charts out there other altcoin charts that look quite similar that haven't got a court case, <laughs> um, you know, th that they have to deal with basically. So in the end, uh, the chart is just simply not trending and that makes a not very attractive chart. It is just very simple because it's not trending. It could just carry on for years sideways, okay? Even though volatility is reducing, okay? So there are two, two main scenarios I'm tracking. Two main scenarios. I'm tracking, first of all, this larger wave one to the upside in both scenarios. So this is still overall a bullish assumption. Um, however, it can play out in different ways. Okay, so and of course not guaranteed because first of all, it all it has done so far was just one large wave one. And since then it hasn't really followed through. So it could still be in the wave two correction. Yeah, that would be still bullish, but it could still lead to another significant low, for example, what XRP might be dealing with is here in the yellow wave count, um, a triangle. So the A wave is the first wave of an ABC structure, which is a corrective structure in Elliott wave. So the A wave might be done, but the B wave might still be unfolding as a triangle. For example, A wave, B wave, C wave. Uh, we could now be working on an e, a D wave and then an E wave. That would complete the B wave triangle. And then we come down in a larger C wave. So A, B, C, with the B wave being the triangle in a five wave structure. That's typically what you see. This is absolutely a likely scenario still as per this um, wave count. You need to be aware of that. Could something more directly bullish play out? Yes, but it's just not high probability. They are both, the probabilities are fairly weighed here, fairly similar, fairly balanced. It's fairly balanced. Um, why is that the case? Well, it's very simple because it's not trending. Okay, it's not trending. Um, the lower time frames don't give us any indication in which direction it really wants to go. Now, you might say, oh dear, why do I do TA if I, you know, if it's just moving sideways? Well, exactly, that's the point. It's just moving sideways. So it might not be the most attractive chart to trade. But of course, a lot of viewers are interested in XRP. So of course, we cover it. I don't like this chart. I've said many times um, <laughs> because it's just not trending. So it's not very easy to, well, you, you can't identify a trend, right? We can do it on the smaller time frames, which is why we're tracking the smaller time frames as well. But when you have a structure that on a larger time frame isn't trending, on the smaller time frame, you don't have the, well, you don't have the, the support of the larger trend, okay? So sometimes you may be swimming against the current, which is going to give you a lot of headwinds. So it's gonna be difficult. However, what we can do in the analysis is to identify the relevant levels that will give us a clue if we are in the yellow wave count or in a more bullish white wave count, which already has seen the first one, two setup and we're basically in the third wave already, but this would all be part of some kind of a diagonal structure here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, while this wave count could play out, it's not high probability because probabilities are fairly balanced, but it can play out as long as certain levels are holding, certain conditions are fulfilled. So there is a clear threshold level that we also identified in the previous videos. We identified the following levels. So first of all, you need to understand that the more bullish wave count will be invalidated below 28.3 cents. This means below 28.3 cents here, which is the June low, round about 28.3. Yeah. Um, below that level, the 1-2 setup here is invalidated and we are most likely following through in the yellow wave count. So that would be fairly bearish. We would also break to the downside of this trend line. In addition to that, there is a level that we can get earlier that will warn us about a, an upcoming invalidation of the bullish count. This is the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level at, uh, where are we? 37 cents, basically. 36 and a half, 37 cents is a 78.6 Fib level. If that level breaks, that sits pretty much on the trend line here. 
then it's gonna be quite negative for XRP and we would be emphasizing the yellow wave count. At the moment, we're just sort of in between both scenarios. We can give the white wave count the more directly bullish wave count a chance, but the bearish wave count is also possible. You need to be aware of that. Here again, we've sold off quite significantly. I did warn about that. I said you will only get a reliable uptrending or uptrend scenario if XRP can form five waves up because then we have five waves up and we can look for a three wave pullback for a first reliable pullback trade. But if we only have three waves up, then it can just continue like that and it can fail again and all sorts of things can happen. Now in the very short term, I think we have hit or not yet hit, but nearly hit a, um, a low. Obviously you can see 5% upside today. I think today will give us some more clarity because I already indicated in the last video that we basically have a W, X, Y, X, Z correction complete or nearly complete. We just wait now for a signal that it might be turning around. And yeah, it seems to be going that way, to be honest. We said the first reliable signal that we are turning around will be a break above this trend line. We haven't just, we haven't done that yet, but that's the level to watch for. Um, again, you know, it, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone if we see now a few days of green, yeah, because those coins are massively oversold, all of them, okay? So don't be surprised if we see a bit of a rally everywhere. Um, but what is going to be important is going to be a corrective or impulsive rally. Now, if we talk about um, probabilities on the XRP chart, looking at what it's done over the years, it's probably going to be a corrective rally. But yeah, watch this trend line. And then we've got the next trend line just above that around 60 cents. That's going to be important. And I also gave you in the previous video a first FIP level to watch out for, I believe, which was the 50% FIP level. And I said, if that's broken and price sustains above that level, then yeah, price might be heading to the upside. And that level is already broken, 52.5 cents. So we might be looking at a low in place now, but I would see, I would like to see the trend line broken next. And then we've got the next trend line ahead of us as the next target. Yeah. As always, it will be the first deeper retracement that will tell us the truth as well. Um, but so far, it seems like we are um, on the way higher. It's just that we haven't made any higher highs, higher lows yet. All we've done now is to break a FIB level. That alone is not a super reliable signal, but I'm starting to warm up to the idea that a low might be in place here. Again, we had a WXYXZ correction pretty much nearly complete or complete. All that was missing was now a sign or a signal that we are going um, into the opposite direction. What else to talk about? Um, so we go to the one hour chart. I mean, this could just simply be an ABC structure at this stage. So it could just still be corrective. Um, it doesn't look like a five wave move at this stage yet, but um, if we get a break above the trend line and and we also need to understand where was the highest volume during the sell-off because a break above that level could take some stops out of short sellers and that would be potentially quite bullish and it's typically the first indication that a trend is shifting. And I think we, yeah, I think that was a level I gave you in the previous video as well. It was above 56 cents, right? 56 and a half cents. That is the candle where the sell-off started, the volume. So that is the level, 56 and a half cents. To pay attention to as well yeah these are all levels to watch the trend line 56 and a half cents and then 60 cents and then if we in the first retracement can hold a higher low it will get get us back into a, an uptrend but um you know based on probabilities it's likely going to be just another abc or wxy structure remember xrp can rally significantly but it is often just in three wave corrective structures yeah, that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.